How's it going everybody? Blind Dev here, bringing you another uh, tutorial video. Today's video is going to be showing you how to uh, set up and run your own dedicated vRising server. Let's go ahead and jump right into it here. Let's open up uh, our preferred web browser here. And uh, if you don't have it already, first thing you're going to need is the Steam CMD. You get it from right here, just click the switch it up, it's this link. Click on the Windows, and then right here is the download link. Let's go to download that, comes into us as a zip folder. We're going to open this up. We're going to extract it. And what I typically like to do for organizational purposes for this, go right into the C drive, we're going to create a new folder call it servers and inside here we're going to uh, paste it from the downloads okay. once you extract it I just uh, copy and paste it or you can cut paste however you want to do it once you do that I want you to go ahead and run Steam CMD so it can download all the dependencies that it needs let's go ahead and do that now you want to hit run I think you just wait for this to get done. Alrighty, once this is done, uh, what we're going to want to do real quick is I'm going to go here and get this uh, director here. So I'm just going to click on here and hit copy. Now in here, I'm going to do force install directory. I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to add my own. I'm going to call it V Rising. Hit enter. Then we're going to log in anonymous. Let us log in. All right. And now we're actually going to uh, download all the files that we need for the server. So for that, we're going to do app update. And the app ID is 18293500. I'm not typing. Oh, because the uh, numlock is turned off. So we'll do this way 18293500. Be typing up there because I'm not used to it. And we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And we're going to let that download. We're going to go ahead and hit yes on this. All right, now that that is done downloading, we can go ahead and hit uh, exit, or I like to type in exit. All right, and then as you can see here in our server folder, we have a new vRising folder here. Now these guys are nice enough to give us an example of the batch file that we're going to need, but this is just an example. This will reset every time uh, the game updates. So what you're gonna wanna do is make your own, which is gonna be easy enough. You just right click, hit edit. We're gonna go ahead and copy all these uh, all these lines of code right here. We can go ahead and close this down. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go right click, new text document, and let's go ahead and name it start server. And what we're gonna do real quick, cause we need to change the, the type. So we're going to go to view, file name extensions, and then we can change this from txt to .bat, hit yes. Now it changes it to a batch script, and we're going to go ahead and right click on it and hit edit. We're going to paste that line of code here. Uh, this rem copy, we do not need this. We can delete this. No problemo. Just like that. Uh, and here we can go ahead and change the parameters real quick if you want to. So for my rewriting server, we can call it, you know, whatever you want. Blind Dev VRising. Uh, you can change the world save folder if you want. We're just going to leave that as default. Leave all this stuff as default for, for myself. Uh, you can change whatever you want. There is more parameters, uh, which you can look up. Uh, if you want to add more parameters, you can also do it in the uh, settings as well. Uh, this right here will override the setting uh, file. If you have parameters to start up, it will override that. So now that that's uh, up, uh, all of our save stuff is going to be in here. 
So as you can see, this folder right here, so under server, data file, assets, settings. Then you have the game settings and then the host settings all in a JSON file. So we're going to open with your preferred text editor. Mine is Sublime. So for me, I got to find Sublime real quick. Must have been the other one, I just didn't see it. Oh yeah, right here. I'm gonna open it with that. So here's your host settings. So here is your your game port and your query port, uh, connected users, uh, connected admins. This here's your save folder again, which this, this is uh, declared in your startup parameter. Uh, password for the server if you want a password, secure if you want anti-cheat enabled. Um, this is your autosave, everything else, debug logs, description. This is the name of the server as well. This is in the sort of parameter, so this is overrided as well. Uh, if you removed it from the starter parameter in the, uh, cancel that for right now, uh, in the start batch file that we just did, uh, if you deleted that parameter there, it will read this one. But since we didn't delete it, it's going to ignore that one. It's going to override it. And you got your game settings here. Move All right, so you got PvP. Uh, then you got a bunch of other settings. So that's all the settings for the game. Now what we're going to want to do, if you want to make the server public, uh, I'll kind of I'll walk you through how to open it up with your firewall. Uh, can't really walk you through with the uh, with your router per se as far as opening up uh, port forwarding because everyone uh, everyone has different routers. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it with your firewall these. So we're gonna type in firewall here with the advanced security firewall. Open this up. We want to go to inbound new rule. We're gonna do a port. The default ports is 9876. My number is still the same. 9876 and the query is 9877. So we're going to open those two up. Leave all these as default allow. And I'm just going to type in uh, V Rising. I can spell it right. Rising TCP. Hit finish. New rule. I typically open both up. I don't know if they both need to be opened up or not. But this is what I typically do. Again, leave all those settings default. Type in V rising, type in UDP, finish, and boom. Now the two required ports that need to be open are now opened up on your computer. And then you you would just have to go in uh, to your to your router and actually port forward it, port forward those two ports on your router as well to actually allow incoming connections so it's not just local and after that you just hit start server once you pull forward and then this boots up the server all right so now that we got the server up and running uh what we're going to want to do as i usually like to create an update file as well a uh, batch script so i can easily just come in here and double click on update and we'll update the server especially with new games like this I usually expect them to update uh, quite frequently. So let's go ahead and we're going to create a new file with a text document here. And here, since we already have the extensions enabled, uh, maybe just change the extension as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and type in server update dot bat. Yes. We're going to edit it. I'm going to write out a little script here to update the um, the server here. We'll do that. Echo off. We're going to set the Steam CMD path. And then uh, we're going to put your path here. Then we're going to do set your server path. We're going to put the path to the server there. Then we are going to, if I can, there we go. We do Steam CMD path. 
slash D and D. Plus login. We're going to do anonymous. We're going to do plus plus. I can do it. There we go. Um, plus, we're going to do force install directory. Then we're going to do the server path. We're going to do app plus app update 1829350. Then we're going to quit after this. And then boom. That's it. Oh, wait, no. I lied. That is not it. We gotta do these paths. So the Steam CMD path is under servers Steam CMD. And then our server path is re rising. Server slash re rising. Then save it. And that is your update script. So if we were to close this, or, or control C to close it, run the update, All right. just like that, update is working no problem. So. And that's it. So you got your start server and then you got a server update. So whenever there's an update, you can just simply click on that, automatically update the server, reading from the necessary files that it needs to be in, and puts them right in here directly. Once the update's done, you can go ahead and start your server back up, and you are good to go. And that is really it. I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you guys on the next one.